Oh my gosh, seriously. I think I need, I don't need a pool boy, I need a range boy. Do I have any volunteers? Oh my gosh. Jenny J, 1911. The long awaited video is here. I finally have been able to get everything done I wanted to do with this video. I have in front of me Cosense Cos 11, the officer style edition in three and a half inches. This is a nine millimeter um, gun. And so I will show you we are empty, so we're clear. Um, so first of all, let me just talk about a couple of the specs of this gun. This is a tactical aluminum frame. That means it's got a rail. So you're gonna be able to add your light or anything you wanna add to the bottom of this gun. Also, it has this plate cut out on the top for your rear sights. It's got the cover plate for the Holosun 507K. So it's optics, optics cut for that. Um, it does come with two of the Wilson Combat, Combat magazines, 10 plus one mags, and it MSRPs for $1,800. Now, um, because I wanted to get a lot of shooting in with this, First of all, we took this gun to Gateway so that we could shoot paper with it and just get a feel for it, do some indoor shooting with it. Um, today, I have two different types of ammo I'm gonna be running through this. First of all, I've got my own reloads that are 124 grain, and then I also have just some a box of Blazer that's also 124 grain. So, that being said, we are going to shoot this for the very, very first time. I'm so excited. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna start with my reloads because I like my reloads. So we'll see how this gun likes them. Not bad. There we go. Trying to see here. Wow, that is a smooth shooting gun. See, I'm shooting a little low here. There we go, and I just took a hot breath right down the shirt. <laughs> so, whoo, there we go, get that one out. <laughs> Ah, well, that's what you do. Ladies, if you ever have that happen, this is why we always tell you don't wear a V-neck shirt while you're shooting. Imagine if I'd been wearing a V-neck shirt. I still got one down the shirt and, you know, I'll give myself a pat on the back. I didn't even flinch. <laughs> so that's something you want to watch out for. But anyway, that was pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to try these blazers and see how we like that. I'm try a different target here. There we go. Nice. This is a really, really nice gun to shoot. Man, it feels solid. When you're shooting it, it just feels solid. It's got a really nice weight to it. Um, so I won't bore you with reloading my magazines, but I'm gonna re reload my magazines and we're gonna shoot some more rounds through it. 
I am so excited because I'm gonna be taking this back to the bench after we shoot. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on this. But for now, we're just gonna put a few more rounds through and see what happens. some more here. I really think this is a good contender. So I am really excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot some more through this and I am gonna be taking this back to the bench and I will give you my final thoughts from the bench and we'll talk a little bit more about the specs and I don't know what we can expect to see next from Cosin Arms. So, all right, let's put some more rounds through. Then we decided, you know what? That's not enough. We're gonna take this outdoors. So we went up to Barrie, Illinois. We went to Passaw Park and I got to shoot steel with this. Now, let me tell you, that was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful day and it couldn't have been nicer to be able to try this gun out on some steel. Okay, we are going to put some rain, put some rains, put some rounds in at the range outdoor with these, with the Coast 11. So this is the first time I've gotten to shoot this outside. And let's just say a little prayer for the GoPro cause it's the new one. <laughs> Nice, I like it. <laughs> okay, we are at the next station. So we're going to do a little shooting here and put some more rounds through this little baby. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're at the third station and we're gonna do some more shooting here. There we go. <laughs> I knew I'd get it. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got that covered, we got to do all that shooting and I feel like can I, I can give you a pretty fair assessment of my initial thoughts of this. Now, of course, you know, this is after only putting like, I don't know, I'd say 200, 250 rounds through it. But I can say confidently that I think that this Coast 11 from Coast Arms is a very, very viable and great everyday carry option. So this gun is nice and compact because it does have a seven and a quarter uh, inch overall length and the height is only five and a half inches overall. It is, it does come with a Cerakote and it's got this nice kind of squared trigger guard here. Um, it also has some pretty decently grippy and aggressive G10 panels for the grips. So that was really nice when I was especially shooting outside. Um, it just gave it a lot of a lot of resistance in my hand. So that felt good. It's also got this stippling on the front and back straps and that's really nice. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but it just gives you a little extra grip. I love when guns, especially, you know, guns like this have this stippling on the front. Um, because sometimes they're smooth. This one is not smooth and that just gives you that little extra confidence that you're not gonna have that slide around in your hand. 
Um, so unloaded, this is not too bad. It's only 28.6 ounces unloaded. Now I do want to talk a little bit about the feed, firing, um, extraction and ejection of this. So, you know, we shot, like I said, 200, 250 rounds through this. I shot factory ammo, several different kinds of factory ammo. I shot my reloads through it, which, you know, my reloads are going to be, um, I don't know, decently light just for enjoyability. I never had any feed issues or firing issues or extraction or ejection issues with this. And I think that's always kind of the one thing that people really get turned off by a gun with is if they have any of those issues, they want to feel like it's reliable. I felt like this was extremely reliable. Um, we did check the trigger pull with a five pull average. We did get a 2.13 pound trigger pull. And I felt like, you know, that's that's really good for a, a gun like this. I think that that's really, really awesome. It makes it feel like a great everyday carry gun because, you know, it's not it's not too short of a trigger pull, but it is very uh, it's so easy to fire. Um, you don't have to you don't have to work at it. Uh, it is a soft shooter too, I would say. And I also felt like the sight acquisition or reacquisition was really great on this. Um, especially when I was outside shooting in the daylight, I've just felt like, you know, my sight acquisition was great. I was switching from target to target. You know, when I'm shooting indoors, I'm shooting at the same target every time, shooting through that same area of my paper every time. When I'm shooting outdoors, I'm shooting steel plates. And so I'm moving, you know, either horizontally or, um, you know, I, I might be, I might be moving in a zigzag depending on how my plates are placed. And I didn't feel like I had any trouble acquiring my next target with this. So that's also super reassuring. And I do have to say that to top it all off, one thing that's really nice about getting a gun is knowing that the people that you're going to be working with, if you have, if you have a question about the gun, the people that you're going to be working with at that company are responsive and receptive to any of your correspondence. And I felt like the people at COSINT have been so pleasant to work with. So I just kind of want to give them a little shout out for that because, you know, customer service, there are a lot of places where you go where customer service kind of seems to go by the wayside. But at COSINT Arms, they are still a small company and they are very receptive to their customers' needs. And I have never once felt like um, I've asked any questions of them that they didn't have time to answer. So that's really nice to feel and hear too. Um, so, you know, this is a modular gun. You are able to also, if you order this from COSINT, you're able to kind of customize it somewhat. So, you know, you just call Greg Mooney up or email Greg Mooney, get a hold of him and He's really great about helping you figure out what you want with your gun. Um, so, you know, I really enjoyed shooting this. I feel like, you know, the price point of 1800 is very fair. I really love this. I would put this, you know, honestly, I felt like it was very similar in line. You know, I love my bull armory guns and I felt like, you know, this fit up there with them. Um, you know, the slide, oh my gosh, this slide can never get old. It is so smooth and so easy to rack. And, you know, especially when you're just going out to shoot for enjoyability, being able to rack your slide is nice. I know some people prefer, you know, that to be a little bit tighter. I like it like this. And the fact that it's so smooth just really, you know, seals the deal for me. Um, you know, the, the overall package of this is just great. And I feel like, you know, we're going to see a lot of good things coming from this company, coming from Cosent Arms, because I feel like they are really dialing into the customer's needs. Um, the owner has a lot of experience with, you know, previous firearms companies and he knows what goes into a good gun. So I can't wait. I have my eyes on a couple more. Cosent Arms guns. And so I'm really hoping that I'm going to get to shoot 
some of those soon too and let you guys know what I think of those. So if you've gotten to shoot one of these um, and I know they're still up and coming and maybe you haven't gotten to shoot one, but if you have gotten to shoot one, drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of this gun. If you haven't gotten to shoot one, be on the lookout for one and try to get your hands on one because I can guarantee you, I think you'd really enjoy shooting this either, you know, just for fun. Um, if you got the, you know, you could, they make this in all three sizes. You could shoot this in competition even. Um, so, and you can use it as an everyday carry. You can use it as self-defense gun. So it's very versatile and fits every category across the board. So, with that being said, let me know what you think and make sure you click like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you like what we're doing, help us out. And we are very close to our 5,000 subscribers, which means we're gonna be giving away that Dylan Reloading Press very soon. I know, I feel like I've been saying that forever and I cannot wait to actually get to do it. So I look forward to talking to you all again soon.